So, uh, I didn't get, get it on recording because I haven't started the replay buffer. But I was doing my first challenging quest. Or that's the, that's the difficulty that uh, the game gave it. This. And I did it. But I also got the uh, Vegeta. So that's cool. I guess I'll take off Luffy maybe. And equip. And then equip Vegeta. I really was not expecting to get him. I, uh, yeah, let's uh, actually do this real quick. I do want to check out how good he may be. This also means I can stop doing the challenge for Planet Namek and move on to Arlong Park, which is going to be nice. A new refreshing map, but the, the map is also not the best for the units I have because I have a lot of line AOE units. So I can get him to level 10. Uh, that sucks. Really wish I could have gotten him to 20, but uh, oh well. Let's see. Let's see how a level 10 Vegeta is. I mean, let's go to Arlong Park Shirk and... Actually, hold on, let me check. I want to see if I have a eternal quest. I do. For Soul City. Let's go to Soul City then. I do hope this guy is very good. I really hope he's hybrid. That would be very nice for Soul City. He costs 917 to start. He has pretty big range. Damn. Who is that? That's Tanjiro. Yeah, okay. Tanjiro has slightly more range. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna place Vegeta down here. And of course his line AoE. He starts out at 260 damage roughly at level 10. If you get a good roll. Getting a good roll on Vegeta would not be fun. I just realized considering he's pretty hard to get. But uh, oh well. I mean I'll... Uh, I guess I'll just skip to when I have a little bit of money and we'll see we'll see if this guy is good. So my kaibas are now maxed, so we will we'll have yeah we have a lot of money, 1480, so uh, yeah, 260 starts out so with uh, 6.5 cooldown. Next uh, level is 404 damage with the same cooldown and it uh, goes up to 877 damage. And the cooldown still doesn't go down, sadly. 1500. And now on upgrade 4, we get a new attack. Gallic Gun. This is probably going to be a uh, line AoE. Or a circle. It is a full AoE. Okay. Uh, he's still ground, sadly. So, But his damage is now 3000. And his cooldown is 8. So when you get... Or when... When you get Gallic Gun with my stats, he deals uh, roughly 384 DPS, which I don't know if that's specifically good. I do believe that's slightly above my Soro, so that's nice. For, he gains about 800 attack, the next upgrade, then he goes up to 8000 damage. Okay, and then goes up to 11.3 thousand, and he's, he has pretty good range. I think, hold on, so he, he gains about 7, 7 range, so if I place him, actually if I place him like here, and I fully upgrade him, yeah, if I place him there, he reaches almost the entire area. I think placing him around here means he will cover this entire area, and that's pretty good for the damage he deals. And this is a level 10, he has like 10 more levels. This, by the way, is... 1420 DPS and you can place four of them. Uh, he also costs about uh, I think that's 16,000 uh, money to max out because uh, it costs or the cell is about a quarter of the amount it, it costs and if you round it up to 4,000, 4,000 times 4,000 is 16k. The only sad thing is that he stays ground and he doesn't turn into hybrid but I feel like if he did, he would be a very, very, very good unit. I, yeah, this Vegeta, I'm, I, I, I actually think he's very good. I'm very happy I got him. And I think he's going to help a lot with, uh, with uh, like, uh, maybe invasion. He might be very useful there. Dungeon, he probably will. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's Vegeta. I'm going to wait and see if I have something else I wanna show, but... But yeah, that is Vegeta. The secret Vegeta. Level 10. Pretty good. Sadly, as I said, he stays ground, and he doesn't go up to uh, hybrid, but... Uh, 
yeah, I would say for how hard he could be, you know, it's like a 0.1% chance every 10 waves, I think. So, like, if you reach wave 10, it's 0.1% chance. At wave 20, it's a 0.2% chance, etc. Uh, meaning you could genuinely spend like 100, 200 runs and still not have him if you're that unlucky. But even then, I feel like, uh, yeah, he might actually be worth it. Of course, I don't have a LR yet, so I don't know how good they are. So I can't say whether he's uh, worth it more than LR, but uh, yeah, I'd say he might be worth getting. Okay, hey, my first LR. Okay, I was not, I mean, I say this a lot, but I was not expecting that. So, LR Biakia. Okay, apparently it's a good dungeon unit from what I've seen or seen people say. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I'm probably gonna replace him with the Tanjiro because, well, I think Zoro is slightly better and he's a hybrid. And ever since I got Vegeta, I've been kind of struggling with, uh, with air, so I need hybrids. Okay, so Kaima has been maxed, so it's time to check. How good is uh, an unevolved or unawakened uh, Byakuya? First of all, has better range than Vegeta, so that's nice. Starts out at, as ground and has a lot more damage, but also a little bit higher cooldown, which is a shame. But uh, he is a circle AoE and not a line AoE. I'm very, very happy about that. I don't like the line AoEs. Next upgrade is 1755. The upgrade after that is uh, 2682 and then the upgrade before which I assume is getting a new new attack is 3121 and yeah the next upgrade is indeed a whole new attack with 6000 he gains 1000 cuts which is probably gonna be a line AoE it's a line AoE but 1000 cuts he goes down to 7.5 7 7.7 cooldown and has 5.852k damage then his cooldown goes down to 7.2 and he gets 7120 damage and after that his cooldown stays stays the same but he goes up to 9753 and that's it that's it for the unawakened Byakuya uh, he is 100% worse than Vegeta. Sure, he has, uh, yeah, he has uh, more range than Vegeta, but uh, Vegeta is a full AoE. Both are ground, and uh, Byakuya deals uh, less damage, has uh, or has less SPA or cooldown. But I believe my Vegeta has uh, 1,477 DPS uh, and is one level above while my Byakuya has uh, 1354 so Vegeta being one level higher has about 123 more DPS and I don't think one level is gonna fix that so uh, and we are about to die because I'm not gonna place any units back there but yeah that's unevolved Byakuya I'm gonna try to get him evolved as soon as possible. Hopefully I can do the soul dungeon and we'll see a updated Byakuya. Yeah, as I said, hopefully as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, that's that's been the video. Got secret Vegeta and uh, an LR Byakuya. In one video, that's actually pretty cool. Sadly, I didn't get me getting Vegeta on video, but I did get Byakuya. But uh, yeah, as I said, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it in some way shape or form if you did nice if you didn't not nice i guess leave a like if you did leave a dislike if you didn't and i hope to see you in another video anyways for now bye bye